Phil Forsberg goes back to Nashville. The New York Islanders make a trade on draft day. And the New York Rangers send Alexander Georgiev to the Rocky Mountains. This is an NHL draft version for NHL Snipes. Coming soon to a theater near you. Before we get started, please like and subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of great hockey content and an entertaining interactive podcast. So, check us out and our library of videos. Hey everybody, I decided to do this outside today because it just felt like a day to be outside. Even though uh, there's not exactly much in the background for you guys to look at, but figured, why the hell not? How about we'll just, we'll just leave it like this right now. Uh, so the first news of the day is that Philip Forsberg has signed an eight-year deal to, to remain with the National Predators. Good for him, although it does take a name off the table that the New York Islanders were looking at. they still got Johnny Gaudreau to go for. He's the top one on the market. Islanders are going to be very big in trying to land him. Speaking of the Islanders, we had our reaction to the draft day video and when they traded the 13th overall pick to get Alexander Romanov. And I know the temptation for a lot of people is, nah, you know what, that's not that, that's not gonna be a great deal. What? What the fuck? Like, no, God! No, God, please, no! 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 It could be awesome for the New York Islanders because Romanov has a lot of potential, and Montreal, I have no idea why they're giving up on him So right now. Well, Anthony covered most of it in the video. I'll put a link to it right up here. Going over to just two of the trades that I can't help but just smile and think about this weekend, which is the first trade that went down pre-draft. Alexander Georgiev going to Colorado for a third and a fifth this year and a third round next year. Fools. <laughs> Oops. Still on. And the crazier thing about it is the comment from Joe Sackick. Yurgiev is as excited as we are. Sackick said on Thursday night after the Avalanche obtained Yurgiev in a trade with the New York Rangers. The team sees Pablo Franco as a great number two who is capable of starting a lot of games. The news will make Georgiev a popular goalie in fantasy pools in 2021-22. <laughs> you serious? I can't help but say it like this, everybody, but why? Did anybody watch Alexander Georgiev this season? Yes, he stole a game from the Carolina Hurricanes. Yes, he has a couple of good games under his belt. Every NHL goalie does this sooner or later. What you also see is just him being off his angles, him losing his confidence, him making just weird plays. Uh, here's one against the St. Louis Blues where he just falls. He just falls. Like, it is it's enough to make you... Just head scratch and think, is this the guy that's going to be going on a Stanley Cup winner? Fortunately, he's going to be on a team that can outscore any of his mistakes. But don't make it seem like he's going to take over from Darcy Kepper and not miss a beat. This is going back to the days of the Colorado Avalanche not having reliable goaltenders. Put that in the books right now. <laughs> oh, it's funny because it's true. And lastly, the reality TV show that I can't help but just wait to see. I decided to sleep in on Thursday and I woke up to the news of Tony D'Angelo going to the Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> oh my goodness. For three draft picks at that, and then the Flyers had to re-sign him to uh, a deal. But... <laughs> No, dude, no f***ing way. <laughs> Three draft picks for Tony D'Angelo, who doesn't play a lick of defense. 
He's on the same decor right now as Rasmus Ristolainen, who's signed forever and was unproductive this season. And they're going to be playing for John Tortorella, who is one of the more fiery coaches in the NHL. This will be... This is the greatest show! This will be a reality TV show of, of epic proportions. And I've said it before during the Big Apple Hockey podcast that I cannot wait to see this. And it's... I Just get your popcorn ready. I just, I just want to be sitting there chewing on the popcorn, watching it, and uh, this is not going to end well. John Tortorello will be gone faster than he was in Vancouver. And the Flyers, I, I don't know what the hell they're thinking. <laughs> this, that- this is a good news for Carter Hart. <laughs> how, is, how is D'Angelo even going to help? Wait until Carter Hart has a couple bad games and D'Angelo is going to get punched out by him too. So, it's unbelievable. And, folks, did you like that video? Of course you did. So, why not check out some more of our content? You can check the playlist right here or right here. Mm, Your ideas are intriguing to me and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.